friends, Miss Natalie here. Today I am showing you how I use the multi brush tool to create that face vase illusion. I started by creating a new file and then I'm going to go to layers and import a layer from my pictures. I've got a profile of Grace Kelly and I'm going to use the uh, tool to adjust the size. Now if you hit, hit shift while you are uh, adjusting the size it keeps the aspect ratio which is really nice. So that is what I did when I adjusted this image to try to get it the right amount. Kind of deciding how big should it be so that I can get that vase like image um, if I flipped the face on both sides. All right. And then I am going to make sure that I move my uh, paint layer on top before I hit my multi brush tool. I'm going to choose that multi brush tool. I've got black as my color. Make sure that I've got the right brush and the right size. And then you will notice that as I trace over this profile on the right side, on the left side, it shows up. Now, there are different ways you can use the multi brush tool. This is just one of the settings. You can also have a setting so that it's up uh, the top and the bottom are mirrored. You can have it mirrored um, like radial symmetry. So there are different ways um, to create symmetry in your drawings. But I just wanted to show you the basic way how you can use this tool whoops, <laughs> to, um, to do this particular assignment. I very much suggest that you play around with that multi brush tool and see the different things you can do. You can make kind of a kaleidoscope drawing with it, which is really kind of cool. I'm going very slowly um, to try to trace out that profile. And once I have it done, then I am going to use the bucket tool, the fill tool, uh, making sure I am on that paint layer. And, um, and now I have that illusion. Is it two faces or is it a vase? Um, but I want to do something a little more interesting with my uh, assignment. So I am going to add something to the vase section in a background. I'm going to do a gradient like we learned in the previous unit. So um, playing around with different gradients, see which ones I like. Eh, not, not so big on the spiral one. Um, I decided I like I like radial. Radial is a good good gradient. So I have a background kind of my vase has this radial gradient, which does make the faces more of the the positive space and the vase more of a negative space. But but it kind of works. There's still that um, positive and negative space, quote unquote, confusion. And then I'm just going to make sure that I save this as uh, Grace. I'm saving it as Grace Face Vase because that's Grace Kelly, a uh, famous movie star from the 1950s who later married a prince. Yes, she did. Google it. It's kind of a, an interesting story. Of course, her story has a sad ending. But anyway, and I'm saving that as a JPEG. And, uh, oh. Yeah, make sure I save it in the right folder. There we go. Teacher's examples. I'm going to save it there. I'm going to make sure I save it also as a Krita file. So if I want to come back and, you know, say, well, the black is nice, but I might want to do something else with it. I can do that. And that is it. That is how I created the face face illusion. So it's your turn to go out and make some art.